would just simply go on their website, go, go to the website, find out what the website address is. And there's a, uh, there's a wealth of information there. And also if you monitor those websites and look at the vacancy section, they get updated constantly. Mm -hmm. So you may be the first one to know before they've even advertised it out okay. somewhere. So that's beforehand. Yeah. Uh, what about actually on the day or the next stage? What's the next well, stage after that? Once you're at the interview or, or on the way to the interview, it's obvious you need to arrive in time. So five minutes, five, ten minutes beforehand, don't, don't be late, for God's sake. Mm -hmm. That, that interview probably needs to interview five, six other people. And if you're late, it's going to have a knock-on effect on them. So um, go inside, you know, greet the, greet the interviewer with a firm handshake and smile. Don't forget to smile. You know, that's very important. Um, and then, obviously, uh, if they offer you a drink or, or, or um, a cup of tea or water or et cetera, just, just take it. Just, just moving on. Yeah. I mean, Peter, there's a l body language is really important mm. then, isn't it, in the interview? Uh, how, how does that work itself out? Well, first of all, your, your image when you go in, you've got to make sure that you're, you present yourself in the right way. And uh, then, as Rohan says, it's firm handshake, a smile, a good morning. Don't mumble. Don't put your eyes down. So making eye contact uh, and being very positive and actually going in knowing in your own mind that you're the person that that guy needs is, to employ. Is there, a, is there a danger of actually becoming overconfident? Is that something that employers are a bit wary of? You, you could be. You have to be sensible and realistic. But I think, therefore, you've got to be grounded and don't push it too far. Don't go in and put your feet on a desk almost.